Imagineering, the blending of creative imagination with technical know-how. Part means a lot to me, something that will never be finished, something that I can keep developing. As long as there is imagination left in the world, Disneyland will never be complete. What I love about the Blue Sky process is it lets us dream. It lets us come up with wonderful new adventures to take our guests on. At Imagineering, we think big. And Disney's California Adventure is no exception. I love this. We're just getting started with this expansion, and it's going to bring more Disney style attractions for the entire family to the park. Looks really great. Yes. We recently completed the all-new Games of the Boardwalk with four classic games featuring some of our favorite Disney and Pixar characters. These games are so fun to play, you have to try them. And when you look across the lagoon, you can see Mickey's Fun Wheel with the same smiling Mickey face that opened the classic Mickey cartoons of the 1930s. It's truly stunning. everybody and welcome to World of Color. It is so exciting to see World of Color finally coming to life. We spent over three years in development coming up with the different concepts and ideas and it's just so exciting to walk out here on something bigger than a football field and seeing it come to life before your eyes. The scale is, is huge and not like anything uh, you've seen before as far as the water show goes. We have fountains that go 30 feet tall, we have fountains that go 200 feet tall, we have fountains that move and everything is done in full color. Each of the fountains has an LED light on it. It almost pulls the light up with it, and it is unbelievable. At the core of World of Color is an engineering technical team that is the world's best. We come to them with all these crazy ideas, and they're the ones who really bring the magic to life. We put in fountains and flames and video and lighting and combined it in a way that has never been done before. They're putting in a brand new viewing area for the show and I'm so excited about it. We have pushed the fountains as close as we can to the audience to really give kind of this epic feel. It's three-dimensional. I mean, you know, we, we, we can bring the fountains really, really close to you. We're working with Jason Badger. He's a brilliant animator, kind of choreographer. And what we do is we'll take a sequence like Pocahontas, we'll take the music, we'll load it into the computer, and then in real time, we'll actually program the fountain. It all originates from here. All the programming for every single fountain, every single nozzle. Our whole cast is made up of fountains, and the fountains are the actors that are going to come to life and tell all the different Disney stories. And now your host, Walt Disney. We're going to take you out of this world of reality for a visit to the most fantastic of all the worlds of fantasy. It's a wonderful world of colorful characters. We've tied it back to Walt Disney and the original television show, The Wonderful World of Color. And we thought that would be a wonderful way to tell stories. We're actually going in and, and creating a new story arc using animation from some of our classic films and creating some new animation. When we go into Wonderland with Alice in Wonderland, you're going to see the traditional animated character, but the world that surrounds her will be totally new. So a lot of the characters that are going to be with her are going to be done out of paper. We're working with a magnificent artist. She literally is bringing cut paper to life. It's truly something people haven't seen before, and it's really going to be a magical experience. It's just absolutely astounding. It is funny. It is exciting, it is thrilling, it's adventurous, and I think it's what Disney does best, storytelling. I hope everyone's going to come to the opening of World of Color. That's the place you need to be. We still have so much in store for Disney's California Adventure, and all the great attractions that you love, like Soarin' Over California, Tower of Terror, and California Scream, will still be available to all of our guests during this expansion. Paradise Pier is getting Silly Symphony Swings, a classic swing attraction based on Mickey's Band concert. And in 2011, we're going to take you under the sea on our first ever attraction based on The Little Mermaid. We'll also be bringing to our guests a whole new main entry called Buena Vista Street. It's going to transport our guests back to the 1920s when Walt Disney first came to California. And to top it off, in 2012, we're going to open a brand new land called Cars Land, based on the movie Cars. Three major attractions, an entire town. It will immerse the guests in the world of Radiator Springs. 